that's got to mean something, something to do with these cutouts, or the gudgeon pin could be offset, anything like that. And then on top of that, at the bottom, you have an arrow which is pointing to the front here, but that's only because I think there's like little cutouts where the other conrod on the other side will go against it, whereas on that side, for some reason, it won't. But we'll, we'll figure that out as we go along. But we, we know that that's the way it come out, so that's the way it's going back. To get the piston into the cylinder, we've got to use this tool here to compress all of the rings onto the piston, and then we can slide it down into the block and give it a knock down, being careful that we don't break any of the piston rings in doing so. That, that's in, then we spin it over and we put that, the cap on the other side of it. We've already got the bearings in, the bearings are the original ones, out of the water damage engine, because these are basically brand new. Let's turn the engine over, slide the conrod onto the crankshaft, and then we can slide the bearing cap from the bottom of the conrod back onto it to clamp it onto the crankshaft. We know these bearings are okay, because these bearings which are on the bottom of these conrods, and which are touching the crankshaft, are the same ones which have come out the DVX engine. And as I've already mentioned, it's only done a couple thousand miles. And that's seven of them in place. Last piston to go in. The piston is fine, we hope. The conrod is not fine, it's bent. But that's okay, because I bought a new conrod. From Aston Martin, AKA Mercedes-Benz, just put a sticker on it saying Aston Martin. So we have got one. Now I've got to transfer that onto there and then I can put it in. 